Stannis Buer is the referee. Off we go into this first seven and a half minutes period. the quickest goal of the tournament so far and uh, certainly excellently put in there he was, very sharp bit of a tangle there and he shoved it in one nothing for Morton almost the equaliser driven in well there by Tosh McKinley McGeeky. Corner. Try the long range effort. I'm not sure that Bonnie McDermott took that cleanly. Rafferty. Mark Smith rushing forward, pick up the and uh, broken up again that's Smith Stephen you should like the, this office as a player very reminiscent of Ian Ferguson who used to play for the DM who starred in this tournament last year Warner doesn't get the return Robertson's up alone and he has to be in that half Magiki Stephen. No rebound. Well, at least not from the back. McGeeky. A couple of minutes gone. Morton have taken a very useful lead. That was McKinley coming forward for the one-two. Don Sullivan, teeth clenched. Legs going like the clappers, there's a useful rebound. Not touched away. Holmes. Robertson. Oh, that's a good goal. Danny Doherty, 2-0. Sweetly put in. Obviously, as you can see from this, Dundee pretty vulnerable for that uh, counter-attack. Right underneath the goalkeeper, Bobby Geddes. Well, there's a score at the moment. Not making a happy reading for Archie Knox, who's sitting down just below us. Archie, never a man to take anything lightly. Very competitive individual altogether. Stephen McGeeky off the posterior, which is a, a useful part of the anatomy in this game. Holmes on his own in the corner. Ooh, ending up as a pass, and I think there was a touch. I think Money McDermott got a touch to that. Duffy Stephen McGeeky. Osh McKinley, they can't find a way through. Looking slightly predictable, there's Archie Dogs there, and I think he's getting ready for a substitution, or else he's trying to break out of the stadium, one of the, the two, and he's obviously not too happy with the way that uh, the are playing at the moment. There's a useful ball again. Well saved. Taking it about the fourth effort by Bobby Geddes. left of this first half Robertson on his own just touched back by McGeeky who takes up the ball in return 
He's realising that time is running out of them. A good run forward by McGeeky. A hard shot there was Stephen McKinley. Oof. McGeeky right underneath it. Saw McGeeky playing uh, recently at Dance Park in a game against Rangers, and I, I thought he played David, David Cooper right out of the match. Underrated player in many ways, and Dundee are substituting, of course, as Jim Brown, the ex-Hamilton player, just about to come on. What a, a useful acquisition he's been for Dundee. Free kick. Uh, John Brown. I should say John Brown, not Jim Brown. Robertson. There he is, Brown. Just put uh, too far forward by Rafferty. That must be a goal now, surely, yes. Ray Stephen gets that goal for Morton with about ooh, a minute and a half left. Put it away nicely. Been trying very well, taking the near side post as his target. Rafferty trying long range ones and going for the rebound. All reminiscent of ice hockey in the corner there, the body checking. Hope they come out alive. Any relatives watching the players at home, don't worry about them putting their head into the, uh, the thick plastic. Nothing will break, they simply bounce off. Wouldn't like to do it, Mark, you, but don't kill them. Brown. Of the ball that little bit awkward. This is shot there by Duffy. In clinging. Ball out of sight. Referee seeing a foul and it is for Dundee. Brown. Cleanly swept up by Murray McDermott. Again, you notice that Dundee were using this ploy of the long shot, hoping that somebody come in, pick up the rebound. Well, the strikers at, at times must feel a bit lonely, staying in the opponent's half, as Robinson has been, but it's worked out not too badly for Morton, leading at this stage by two goals to one. There we are, that's the scoreline.